Hello and welcome to lifefree4u.com. In this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you how we can set up Lifefree with Eclipse IDE. So first of all, we need to download the Lifefree bundle, uh, which is uh, first of all we need to go to lifefree.com, and then we need to go to uh, download section. Here we will find out that there are two variants of Lifefree, uh, which are Enterprise Edition and Community Edition. Well, uh, we will be using community community edition because that's free. So uh, we will be downloading it with uh, Lifefree bundled with Tomcat. As uh, there are various variant uh, which uh, which are bundled with Clash, Switch, uh, JBoss, Jetty. So uh, we will be downloading first of all. We will be downloading this bundle with Tomcat. Then we will be downloading Portal source code. Then we will be downloading uh, plugin SDK. And if required, you can download Java Docs also. So all of these files will be available in zip file, zip format, which you need to extract in a particular folder. You need to download Lifefree IDE also, uh, which is built uh, upon uh, upon the top of the uh, Eclipse IDE. So once you have downloaded these files, these will be in the form of these SDK, SRC, Tomcat, and Eclipse also. And then you have to extract that Eclipse uh, also, and then specify a particular workspace, and then open it up. So I have accepted these files. SDK is also over here. This portal, Lifefree portal, is here. Then portal SRC is also over. Here. So when, uh, whenever you are going to open the Lifefree IDE, then uh, you will be finding out uh, like this. This will be the default page which you will be getting. These are uh, code snippets which will be helpful while you are coding. So first of all, we need to configure a server. Uh, we will just go over here and then we will filter it out with Lifefree. So we are using Lifefree version 6.1, 6.2. So basically, we can click over here, and then we just need to say next, and then we need to give the give the path uh, up till that particular directory where we have specified the server. And then just we need to say okay, and then uh, there will be a default JRE which will which it will take from your uh, from your system which whatever Java version you have installed. So in my case, it's JRE seven. Whenever you will, uh, then you have to click on the next, and then here you need to specify the Java doc URL if uh, you have downloaded. These all of these things are optional. You can do it or just say finish. Uh, so here you need to specify the source code location where you have specified, where you have unzipped that. Uh, you you need to uh, provide the Tomcat bundle zip file which is helpful while you are developing with uh, you are working with EXTs. So just say finish and that will be all. So uh, now we will start the server and then it will get started. Uh, here there will be a whole bunch of console logs which will get uh, started by default it will be uh, installed on 8080 port so you can check it out from over here just double click on this file on this and then uh, here on the ports you can see you can see that it is being started on the 8080 port so So by default, Lifefree is configured to use Hypersonic as its database because uh, it is a kind of a file system database. So uh, it doesn't require any setup or all those stuff. So, but it is uh, recommended that we should not use it in the production. Uh, while development, also we are not going to use Hypersonic database. We will be using MySQL. So it's my prerequisite that uh, you uh, you have installed MySQL also MySQL 5. Point something uh, on your system so that uh, it would be helpful while we are uh, directing the whole library to use the mysql server so depending upon the speed of your uh, system it will get started in a minute or two it won't take not more than that so after that it has been uh, started it will redirect it uh, to this basic configuration page where we need to specify our portal name let's say library for you and then uh, here we need to specify an administrator user which will be uh, which will be used while while we will be first uh, firstly logging into it so here we are specifying add sample data which will be helpful so now here by default it is being using hypersonic uh, database which we need not to uh, use so we will be changing it to something else so uh, these are the list of the database that you can use uh, while communicating with lifefree or so so this is uh, i'm going to use mysql so it will by default uh, put up all of these stuff over here. So uh, this is the database that we will be using. So I'm gonna give it Lifefree for you database, and then I'm gonna pass my username and password for the MySQL. So I'm gonna give this. Before doing that, I need to create a database uh, in my MySQL. Uh, this is an HDSQL tool uh, which I'm gonna use for the. Uh, for interacting with uh, the database so I'm gonna just say create database and, and, and I'm gonna quote 
put up these values over here and then just say ok so it has created a database blank database so I'll just say finish configuration and then it will start to install the library corresponding to the speed of the MySQL and all those it will take a little bit of time to put up all of the data uh, tables into the database so uh, it is determining the dialect for MySQL then it is finding out the table whether it does exist or not and it has find that it does not exist so it will be populating the whole of the data and the tables into the database so if I just say refresh over here then you will find that uh, library has created a whole bunch of tables over here so uh, depending upon the speed of the system and all those stuff uh, again I'm saying it will require correspondingly uh, not more than five minutes to install the whole database uh, into uh, into your uh, into your MySQL and then and then we can further get it started with this so once the library has been installed it will pull up all these logs and it will import a lot of stuff and then uh, it will redirect us to this particular page okay in this page uh, it has specified that it has created the portal setup wizard dot properties in this uh, particular location and then we just need to say go to my portal and then it will bring us to a default page of our portal so let's wait till it pull up the values from the database and specify okay so uh, by default uh, it will produce this uh, terms of use and then we just need to say I agree and then it will redirect us to the page so by default uh, it has signed me into into the portal as Joe blocks which is uh, the test uh, test test that we have given so I'm gonna put up uh, something like that and then just say save and then it will ask me probably it will ask me to put up a new okay so this is the default page uh, which uh, we have pointed to and then from here we can add different sort of portlets and plugins uh, which, uh, which library has provided out of box and then uh, this will be the preview of the page uh, kind of preview that you, you need to you need to look into and then this will be the edit page I did this particular page these will be the edit controls whether you want to see the controls over here or not so uh, once uh, this add page has been opened so you can add some new content over here which will be a blog entry bookmarks entry basic document web content article or so then you can add some of the application applications are basi well basically uh, these are the portlets that uh, we have uh, we have uh, built means custom portlets or the library which has provided out of box so uh, these will be listed out over here you can add a page also uh, which will be an empty page uh, here you can specify the number of columns that uh, that particular page must have well basically layouts uh, are specified well uh, how your portlets will be arranged over there like uh, those are done in the bootstrap so you can also create a blog over here content display page you can create wiki you can create a panel you can create embedded link to a url and all those stuff you can create from over here so uh, this is the basic configuration how we can configure a life ray on our data uh, on our okay these are the admin admin section which will be site administration pages content user configuration and then you can go to the control panel also these are my sites which have been specified to this particular user this will be the profile page my profile my dashboard my account sign out this my profile will be the page where you can uh, the user can edit his own information my dashboard will be the will be the private page of the of the user so this is how uh, this is how we can configure our development environment in library so in the next uh, next tutorial I'll be showing you how we can configure how we have to configure uh, the plugin SDK and then uh, we can start the development we will be starting from uh, different sort of plugins uh, I'll be specifying what sort of plugins are available in library and then uh, we will be uh, starting with uh, portlets uh, its development and how we can customize the library uh, library with uh, portlets so thanks for uh, thanks for watching this video thanks a lot